Alabama. What can we say about Alabama? <laughs> Every time something is kind of goofy going around, Alabama is at the heart of it. This lawmaker obviously must not be very intelligent. Oh, you think a lawmaker should be intelligent, right? Either that or she's using this as an excuse. And I know I'm sounding like I'm bearing the lead, but I need to I need to build this up a little bit here. This lawmaker is saying, and I kid you not, I kid you not. She said a fetus is the largest organ in a body. While you're all slapping your head, hands against your forehead, in a serious face palm. Let me let me read what she said here. She said, when a physician removes a child from a woman, that is the largest organ in a body. The lawmaker declared. That's a big thing. That's a big surgery. You don't have any organs in your body that are as bigger than that. Really? First science of, fail. Science fail. And she, a woman. This lawmaker is a woman, and she's thinking a, a a baby or a fetus in a human body is an organ. The definition of an organ is something that it contributes to the body. A fetus does not. It feeds off the body. It's like a parasite. In fact, the largest organ you have in your body, on average, is 3.5 pounds. That's your liver, unless you add onions. You know, then then you've got <laughs> liver and onions. Then it's about four pounds. Uh, the largest external organ on your body is your skin. So it's nice to know that my skin and my liver and my heart and my other organs have person rights. You know. I can stay now. I can drive in the carpool lane all by myself because apparently my heart, my liver, and everything else—they all got. In, they're all individual persons. Apparently, she's basically using this as an excuse to stop abortion. That's what this boils down to. Besides outlaw the, the abortions, they want to use use this as a way to shut down abortion clinics. And if a nurse gives somebody a pill or performs an abortion, they want to give them 10 years in prison for uh, for doing this. This is fucking patently stupid and fucking ridiculous. Crystal, your thoughts? Yeah, another one that just makes me absolutely crazy. Uh, this woman's name is Representative Mary Sue McClurkin, and yes. she... Um, this is House Bill 57 that she's introduced. Now, get this. The name of the bill is the Women's Health and Safety Act. Yes. Oh, Please, yeah. Please, you need to rename it something else. It's the Women Control Act. Yes. And they need, oh, gosh. The scary part about this is earlier this month that the, the State House Health Committee approved the bill, and it made it eligible for voting on February. in February. They're going to knock it down. It's going to be, but it is because people actually raised their voice and the women's rights advocates pushed against this. Other than that, it's kind of scary to think how far this thing would go. Mm -hmm. This would make it a felony for a nurse to give what she's calling an abortion pill. And they need to, she needs to really get educated. It is not an abortion pill. Right. If there is a pregnancy, it's a very early one. It's not even implanted yet. So right. you're technically not doing an abortion period. Right. It is exactly to close these clinics down. It's going to mandate them doing millions of dollars of construction in the buildings which is going to prevent these lower income clinics from functioning. Yep. Yeah. And you know the thing is also see a fetus also weighs basically about 0 0.6 pounds at 20 weeks. Mm -hmm. 20 weeks. That's exactly. that's a lot of gestation time just to and just to be that uh, amount of weight? No. Th this person she needs to go back to school. Basically, you know actually you know what she should do is just Get her out of the legislature. She doesn't belong there. These people who are have no science or no medical training do not belong sticking their noses in people's private business. If you do not have a vagina and that fetus is not implanted in your vagina, it's none of your fucking business. <laughs> Period. No. And, you know, and half of the problem is is the um, the things that are already in place as far as who can administer what. Right. Those are uh, those are already there. Yes. And it's a matter mm -hmm. of her wording it the way that she does, but it's going to put people like me that are nurses at risk of facing felonies for doing our job. And that so it, uh, being a woman that pisses me off. Being a nurse, it just infuriates me. And this is where I say. 
gosh, people, please raise your voices up and and stop these nutcases from doing stuff like this. Please. There is absolutely, she has no business anywhere. She is she knows not what she's talking about. All right. You know, and if Crystal goes to jail for doing something like this, We'll be. We'll have to get a special mic. We'll have to sneak a microphone into the prison just so you, you can do the show from there. Uh, <laughs> that would be one big party. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cellmate. I'm doing a show right now. Uh, <laughs> Joe, your get thoughts? Me down. <laughs> Crystal can clang her metal cup against the bars during the show. Attica, Attica. <laughs> Packard pokes at. Packard pokes at. No. <laughs> But yeah, the uh, the tactics being used to limit women's reproductive rights are getting way out of hand. And you started to quote her there. Uh, it was I grabbed the same quote out of the article because I thought it was good. Pro-choice activist Sharon McLeod McLeodon Price, uh-huh. and she said instead of outlawing abortions, they're just going to make it to the point where the clinic cannot operate in the state. Yes, mm-hmm. Alabama isn't the only state trying to pull this nonsense. We've covered it on the show before. Yeah. The state of Mississippi has passed a similar measure. North Dakota doing, too. Hmm? North Dakota as well. Right, right. What they what they do is they pass these uh, regulations that the clinics have to undergo these expensive renovations, and it would cost millions of dollars to ch- to alter the building, and they just don't have that kind of money to change the building. Right. And they're sitting there saying like, "Oh, this is for safety reasons." It's not for safety reasons. It's because they know they can't afford it, and so then they would have to shut down. Right. It's a trap law, basically. And you know mm-hmm. what? And let's just say for shits and giggles that they had the money. To do all these renovations, and they did the renovations. Then they, they would just, make the razor. They would just change the right. The oh, exactly. you can't be this big. You got to be this only it's this moving big. Moving the goalpost. Yes, exactly. The thing, the nice thing is on this though. Or earlier this month, uh, McCurkin's bill was, even though it was approved by the state house Senate House Health Committee, which made it eligible for the vote here, uh, the floor vote uh, starting September, or, or I'm sorry, February 12th, a similar bill to it died last year after protests from a women's rights activist. So I hope that those women's rights activists are out there and they see this bill and they are adamantly fighting about this. There's one thing about this whole thing that really pisses me off, that when they went up to speak about this, the people who were opposed to this bill got 60 seconds one minute to speak. The mm-hmm. people who were in favor of the bill got up to four minutes. Right. right. Little imbalance there, you think? Maybe just a little bit. Right. So these pro-choice, these these uh, not pro-choice. I'm sorry. These uh, uh, pro-lifers, yeah, these pro-lifers are not yeah, only um, uh, pushing the, the goalposts around, but they're also making the whole thing unbalanced. And this is the way they want it because. They know that if it came to a fair trial or a fair discussion, they would lose in an instant. All right. And they're saying it's for women's safety, but where is where is all these uh, medically damaged women from these clinics? You yes. know, these these are the safe options. This is the regulated. You know, where there's an actual doctor and nurse there, and and sanitary conditions. It it was when abortion was illegal that the unsafe conditions pr- exactly. were, were around. Right. That's what the, exactly yeah. The, the abortion clinics were made not just to make abortion just, uh, you know, so everybody go out, oh, I'll go I'll have a party. I'm going to get myself knocked up. I'm going to have an abortion the next day. <laughs> this is what that's running through their head, okay? They're, they're just fucking crazy. And I, I think that the f- problem is they're not getting enough of it at home, so they, they're thinking everybody's <laughs> having sex uh, except for them. So, you know, as someone like – Dan used to say when he was here that somebody out there is having a good time and they want to stop it because they're not having a good time either. So it, it's just one of those bullshit stories that they like to tell. Your sex you know life is all of my business. My sex life is none of your business. Exactly. <laughs>